Well, hi there. My name is Family Jewels 7 x and you've stumbled upon my studio tour video. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to show you guys around my new San Diego studio. No, no, no. Stay there. I'm going to try. I'm going to just transition, right? You know. So here it is. Um, it's a lot bigger than my other one, but I got it uh, because none of the other people I live with, Rashad E. B. or Jonathan Young, wanted the room with no. Ventilation. Oh, I didn't want the room, right? Well, no, you didn't. You, there was no ventilation in here. Uh huh. <laughs> Shut up. So walk with me uh, while we're walking to my. You're too close to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the most important part of being a Family Jewel 7X guitar is the guitar. So here are my guitars. This is my Ibanez uh, Sound Gear bass. It's a five string. Um, I actually, off the top of my head, it's like a 505 or something. I don't actually know all the numbers and shit. Uh, this is another one I don't know all the numbers to. I barely use it. This is the first electric guitar that I've ever owned. This is an Ibanez SA series. I use it mostly for twangy ska stuff but oh um, you still use that yeah i used it in uh my top 10 something video i don't know this cover this <laughs> this cover, this, cover. This, this guitar you've probably seen uh, a little bit more this is my uh, gibson explorer i actually changed out the pickguard for uh a gold one just because uh gold and black seems to be my my colors now so nice. i thought that would look cool um i keep this guitar mostly in drop c uh this is my probably my favorite guitar that i own it's a cordoba c7 um, it's actually not really that uncommon a guitar, you'll probably see it in Guitar Center, but uh, it's like serious, serious bang for the buck, and uh, it just sounds amazing. This guitar, not so much. Uh, I use this for steel string, and I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm hoping to replace it soon, but this is a Fender T Bucket, it's a uh, cutaway, so CE. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's okay, but I'd like something a little bit better quality in the future. Um, and then of course this is my PRS SE. Custom 24 seven string guitar, which is hooked up with a uh, with bare knuckle aftermaths. Um, so this is actually the guitar that I used to uh, record shreddage with. So if uh, you want to check that video out, I'll probably put a link or something under here. I, I like the fact that from this angle you can see Heat Flamesman like freaking out from behind the guitar. <laughs> nice. You just, ah! Over here, I keep uh, I keep my Schecter. Uh, you keep your SLS. Starbucks coffee cups. I keep my I keep my. Schecter Blackjack SLS. Uh, this is a Blackjack model with the Sustainiac system. I bought this to uh, more or less replace the Schecter Damien FR that I've been using in my uh, past three years of videos just because that one's getting old, the wiring is getting faulty. The pickups actually cause the strings to uh, continuously uh, sustain pretty much infinitely as long as the batteries hold up. I love this guitar. It's a great feel. It's a, it's a much higher end uh, Schecter than the Damien FR. So, I don't know. I like it. Where's that one with the bats on it? The one with the bats, that's in, that's in Seattle. I, uh, well, you I, can't play it there, can you? No, I can't, Rich! These are uh, some like nerdy things. I want everyone to know that I'm a big nerd. So uh, Are you also a knick-knack? I am a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a video game. That's <laughs> fucking offensive. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Who'd you steal this from? Yeah, it's from PewDiePie. Oh, nice. This was actually constructed by me. It's just a pole, and I wanted some cool lighting so that in my, uh, my future videos, my future guitar covers, I could have uh, you know, cool backlights and stuff, so I can look like Jonathan Young. So you might have seen uh, some some of this acoustic paneling um, in some of my videos uh, as of recently. Uh, this uh, this all this does is uh, helps tame some of the resonance when you're mixing with studio monitors and stuff. It keeps the bass from crowding up in the corners and uh, so that you don't hear false resonance and stuff. Uh, you can get uh, these uh, pretty expensively at Guitar Center and stuff, but I actually got these at. Uh, I think it's called Foam Factory. I'll leave all the links and stuff down in the description. Um, and you can buy a lot of these for a lot, for not a lot of money. So, it's a good deal. Yeah. So you also probably seen my posters. Uh, a lot of these posters are new. Uh, I, did, I didn't like a lot of my posters from before. Uh, some of these you might recognize. The uh, Princess Peach uh, Marilyn Monroe poster is probably my all-time favorite. Uh, so I brought that over from Massachusetts. But a lot of these are uh, newly bought. Uh, I wanted a lot more video game stuff in my uh, San Diego studio and a little bit less uh, band stuff. I did want band stuff. There's some band stuff here. Uh, some of my influences, uh, Lamb of God, fucking Meshuggah, Sun, uh, obviously The Doors, um, <laughs> obviously Sun. Sevenfold Candy. I get the uh, same influences from a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a uh, fake metal. Oh my, my god, it's Dragon Force. Yeah, it's one of my all-time favorite bands right now. Made metal so good. Um, and then uh, here's a keyboard that I don't use. Uh, this is kind of where I just shovel my trash, truthfully. That explains why you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a meme. Yeah. Rich, do you know anything about that game? <laughs>
These lights right here um, are awesome because they provide a lot of light towards me and my guitar at my uh, desk so I don't really have to set up lights like I used to. Um, these you can actually get for very cheap at CowboyStudio.com um, and you can get like uh, like three of them for like how much? Like 50 bucks? Uh, like 60. 60 bucks. It's a good deal. So then I guess finally my desk. Uh, this I actually built myself for the most part. Uh, the wood um, is all from Lowe's. This is actually um, wall trim that I just spray painted black. Um, and the stands I got from Ikea, just so that I made sure that they would be good quality. The most important part of having um, a YouTube channel... Is having a light-up keyboard. Rich, this is my fucking video. Ooh. Rich, this is my video. Stop! Yeah. The most important part of being productive is having a clean environment and a clean space. You'll see that I have really good uh, wire management uh, all over the... No, don't look under there. Don't look... So I've got a triple monitor thing so that I could have um, essentially, you know, mixing or uh, mixing stuff over there, tracking and then MIDI stuff or uh, sometimes sheet music or anything. Um, this video isn't doing it justice really, but that desk is like, what, 80 inches wide or something? Yeah, so this desk is, is uh, about... Fucking stupid. I think it's an 8 foot desk. Stupid. Um, mostly I just wanted to be able to have... Uh, the three monitors set up and uh, have these giant VXT8s uh, that I got off Amazon for I think both of them for like 750 It was a really, really good deal. This is just a desk light. I think I got it from literally Bed Bath & Beyond. You've been using that for what, Long since like time. day one? Uh, it, Almost. I had one on day one and then uh, it actually uh, broke. Uh, there's a blooper somewhere of that. Um, and so I bought this one. You can get these at this is just one of those sun lamps, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart probably. Right here I've got, um, these all uh, control different uh, power things for uh, my lights. My lights all turn off from here. These are my monitors and then these are my studio monitors, my speakers. Uh, one of my favorite uh, things about my desk now is really simple. Um, I have my camera sitting on a desk stand, which allows me pretty much whenever I want to be able to just hook it up and start recording whenever I want. Um, got a microphone on a arm here and then another microphone. The two. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I like the AT2020 shoved in the thing there. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have a have another arm, but uh, hopefully I can buy one soon. Um, here's a broken lens. Um, a lot of people ask me uh, about this situation right here. This is actually a USB mixer that I use um, mostly to send all of the audio from my computer. Uh, my interfaces, everything to one thing, then out to my uh, headphones. What this does is it actually also allows me to stream on Twitch.tv all of the creation of my covers and stuff. I do, of course, have uh, the AxeFX uh, 2 XL Plus. Um, I have been using this ever since uh, Necrodancer. Um, I saved up my allowance for a very, very, very long time to be able to afford that. This is my Line 6 uh, Pod HD Pro. Um, I was using this for a while at the end of my uh, three years of weekly videos. Uh, I'm still going to be using it for live shows and stuff, um, but otherwise it's, it's a good fail safe for uh, when my Axe FX dies out. Um, this is uh, a MIDI keyboard. Uh, it's just a Acorn Master Key 49. It's not that great. The keys aren't weighted. I definitely want a new one pretty soon. Here is my Ocarina from STL Ocarina. They make really high quality. This is... A, this is a it's, uh, Was that your theme song? Song of Storms, dude. Oh, cool. That's in C, and uh, I don't know. I use it for anything. I stop. <laughs> <laughs> I use it for anything that I need to do wood ones. This is cool. Uh, this is actually um, a little uh, pick chest that uh, my friend Holly made for me. Uh, it's a little Zelda chest, and love it to death. Uh, and then there's some trash on my desk. I'm sorry. I'm a slob. Deal with it. So yeah, it's in style. So that's it. This is my studio. Thank you guys so much for on Patreon for uh, giving you stop pizza. Thanks everybody for uh, pledging on Patreon and checking out my studio. Uh, thanks everybody for watching my videos. I'm hoping that my new studio setup will be good for uh, making more efficient videos uh, in the future. So uh, thank you again for watching. Um, how do you end, how do you how do you end a video like this? Uh